When the numbers were first mentioned in the series, it seemed like these beings of gargantuan proportion were going to play a substantial role in the Wano arc. While they have a very brief moment in the limelight, they play a minuscule role during Wano. Be that as it may, allow me to explain everything there is to know about the numbers. If you want to see more One Piece content, then be sure to subscribe. The numbers are a group of artificially produced ancient giants made on Punk Hazard. However, they were deemed failures, so Kaido bought them around 20 years ago making them affiliates with the Beast Pirates. It's not clear who made the numbers, but I'd say it's safe to say the world government commissioned this project. Given the fact that we see frozen giant prisoners in Punk Hazard, and the world government constantly does shady things, I wouldn't put it past them to have used prisoners as their guinea pigs. It's also not stated why they are deemed failures, but we can make educated guesses, and it may perhaps be due to their low intelligence. Their minds are more akin to a child or an animal than a human slash human-like adult and the numbers aren't capable of speech. The numbers are capable of laughing, and each of their laughs became their names. Since each of them is unique and distinct, going from 1 to 10, their names are Inbi, Fuga, Zanki, Jaki, Goki, Roki, Nangi, Hacha, Kunyun, and Juki. All of the numbers' names contain the kanji for the number they are associated with. Zanki, Jaki, Goki, Roki, Nangi, and Juki also have the kanji for Oni in their names as well. However, the remaining four have their own unique kanji. Inbi has the kanji for beauty, Fuga has the kanji for fang, Hacha has the kanji for tea, and Kunyun has the kanji for endurance slash patience, which is used in the word ninja. Another prominent feature of the numbers is that most of them have animalistic traits. That is something giants and ancient giants do not possess. Like Kaido, the numbers share a lot of visual similarities with Oni. They possess horns, they wield clubs, they have sharp teeth, and some of them wear loincloth. Another trait the numbers all share is their love for drinking. Now, they do seem to possess enough awareness to remain loyal to Kaido. However, the Beast Pirates have a hard time controlling them. The only person who seems capable of taming the numbers to a greater extent than usual is Scratchman Apu. Even then, Apu doesn't have complete control over them. Apu tries to get three of the numbers to come to his aid when Drake is attacking him, yet they refuse to help. Even though they seem to understand that a fellow beast pirate is being attacked, the only person some of the numbers, or at least Fuga, seem to completely obey is Yamato. Yamato and Fuga seem to be on friendly terms, based on the way Yamato casually greets Fuga during the raid. Yamato gives Fuga specific instructions to take the key from Roki, operate the lever to open the gate, and hold Roki down. Fuga simply rammed Roki, breaking through the gate, and he did hold down Roki as commanded. So the numbers do seem like they understand what someone is telling them as long as it's not too complicated. So when the numbers cause collateral damage, or when they didn't aid Apu against Drake, it doesn't seem like it's not because they didn't understand, but simply because they don't care. Because of their enormous size, the numbers are capable of effortlessly defeating regular-sized humans, and together they can lay waste to countless cities. But it is stated by Apu that the numbers' combat abilities are diminished while they are intoxicated. Now, the numbers are compared to ores in terms of size and strength by other characters, but they're not really that powerful when compared to characters around the Toby Ropos level or above. Luffy, Frankie, Brooke, Drake, and Yamato all defeated a member of the numbers with relative ease. If anything, the numbers kind of act as a gauge to show how far the Straw Hats have progressed in terms of power. The Straw Hats once had to team up to barely scrape a victory against zombified ores. Now, their strongest members can solo ores like beings with ease. That's pretty much everything there is to know about the numbers, but let's delve into some interesting facts about them. Unlike the children who underwent gigantification by Caesar Clown, the numbers don't suffer from the same drawback of having a short lifespan. In fact, we have a confirmed age for Hacha, and he is 188 years old. Given his young appearance, they might have the average lifespan of giants. While the numbers are depicted as Oni, which are yokai that bear a resemblance to ogres, Inbi also bears a striking resemblance to a modern depiction of the devil. Whenever we see the numbers as they're drinking or after they finished drinking, they are drunk. The only one this doesn't apply to is Inbi, implying that he can handle his alcohol better than the rest of the numbers. Fuga is the only number that has eaten a smile fruit, as we can see his lower body is that of a horse. When the numbers were originally depicted as silhouettes, the only one that remains unidentified is this one right here. It is thought to be Fuga since they both have underbites, however, they do not share the same horns nor body type. The silhouette also looks like Nangi, 
However, Nangi does not have an underbite. Instead of wielding a club, Zangi carries a katana in his sash. Unfortunately, we never see him use it. Inbi, Fuga, and Zangi are probably the most defiant of the numbers, since they're the only ones that didn't fight alongside the beast pirates. In the anime, Jockey has pink skin, blue hair, dark purple horns, and a white loincloth. However, in the Vivricard data book, he has yellow-green skin and horns, red hair, and a yellow loincloth. It's not really clear who defeated Nangi in the manga, but the anime expands upon this by having him defeated by the mink Shishilion. In the manga, when Queen is doing his roll call, Hacha, Goki, and Kunyun respond. We know this based off of their laughs. But the anime replaced Hacha and Kunyun with Jockey and Juki. If I had to guess, I'd say the anime wanted to portray how fearsome the numbers are, and using the most monstrous looking ones makes the most sense if that's what they were going for, instead of using the ones that look the most human. Anyways, that's gonna do it for the video. Please subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you got something in One Piece you'd like me to explain next, then leave a comment below. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.